Hey Taurus, Shara here. So today we're going to do your love messages and see what you need to know about your love situation, what's coming toward you, past, present, future. Make sure they hit the like. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so you have a family situation that or somebody in your surrounding area that you're dealing with, you're having, I don't know, maybe like a little feud or something, something unexpected happened. Um, somebody's not fulfilled. It's like you're planning to do something, but it's not bringing the fulfillment that that you want. It's like something is taking too long. Okay. Could be a third party situation. We're going to get into it. Okay. What is this three of pinnacles about? What is this three of pentacles? Oh no. Somebody is trying to work it out with somebody from the past. Okay, this is in the overall energy. Somebody is trying to work out something from the past. They're not changing um, and they're trying to could be somebody that they work with, but I feel like this is um, a family situation. How is Taurus's person coming toward them? Okay, so either they're keeping secrets or um, they're not telling you something. I mean, they're not, they're not talking to you. They know some things. Okay. Your person could be furthering their education to get a job. Or to move forward up in the company. Something like that. How are they coming toward you? Okay, you could be dealing with a Jonai, Libra, or Aquarius with that King of Swords. You could be dealing with a Pisces. We have Scorpionic energy here too. They feel like they're right in a situation. And how's Taurus coming toward this person? Okay. So you're taking on a lot of burden. Okay. You could be dealing with children. Does it have to be? But it's like you're taking on a lot of the burden in this relationship. And you are also coming up as the queen of swords. We've got the king of swords. So this person knows that they need to do better. Okay. So some of it could be a third party situation. But I also think that where there's a lack of fulfillment, you're calling this person to compromise in the situation. Like dream, uh, teamwork makes the dream work, right? Okay. What is this person's intentions toward Taurus? Are their intentions okay we've got four cards out here oh goodness Taurus oh my goodness their intentions toward you is to tie up this this situation okay they don't want to keep doing they know that they need to do better okay 
what they need to be doing is collaborating, you know, not letting you do all of the work and you're like, can I get some help, please? Okay. Or can I, can you do something in this relationship? You know, it's like they're putting the struggles and the burdens on you. They know this. Okay. They know this. They're aware of it. Their intentions toward you What is this world about? I mean, because the overall energy, this is somebody who is not enthused. They're kind of lazy. They're kind of rude. They're kind of a bum. All right. They're not, they don't have that fire under their ass to get things done. All right. What is this world about? Mm. Damn. Okay, I'm going to show you the overall energy first. We've got the three of cups reversed. Clarifying the world. It's like they want to have fun. They want to have their cake and eat it too. But they don't want a solid committed relationship. Somebody is fucking around and that's why they don't want to take the responsibility how should you come toward this person Taurus how should Taurus come toward this person okay you have everything that you need okay it's like you got a glow up coming up. You are very satisfied. You might have some unexpected money coming in. Um, but how you should come toward them is taking care of... It, it's like self-care as well. Maybe you need to take a spa day. Spend some money on yourself instead of this person. Because what I'm paying attention to is this dynamic is not working, okay? It's not fulfilling. <sighs> Tell me about this page of wands. Okay. Are you the one that is either you're calling it off or, or you got a third party? Doesn't have to be. But it's like you are ready to call off the situation. You're done. What is this person's future actions toward Taurus? Oh, Virgo energy. Um, it's like they're withdrawing and they could be moving or traveling. If this is a long distance relationship, they could be having money issues and are not able to like travel toward you. There's some kind of like dysfunction in this relationship that's like, what is wrong with this person? Like, I feel like if they've had a breakup in the past, Taurus, I feel like it's almost like they want to go back to that situation. Maybe their partner, their past partner is like a bum. They could be like drinking a lot or something like that. Mm. The 
this person, I don't know if this person is like married to this, to somebody else or it's like after a break, they're going back to that situation. And you're acting like everything is okay. Okay, let's, let's see what does this person want to say to Taurus? What does this person want to say to Taurus? I sometimes wonder if you care. I'm obsessed with your body, so maybe sex is really good, but everything else is kind of like not. What else does this person want to say to Taurus? Okay, I don't want to lose you, and I feel the same way. Okay, so this person is not taking the proper action toward you. It's like they're kind of leaving you with the burdens of this relationship or whatever the situation shit, okay, whatever it is. It's like they're leaving you with this burden and maybe you're wanting more of this person Taurus, I feel like maybe you want to explore your options. Maybe. You also might be moving. And it's like this person could be moving on. Okay. But anyway, I see that they have somebody over here on the side. Their intentions toward you is not, it's like to finish the cycle up and not, it's like they want to withdraw from the situation. What else does this person want to say to Taurus? Gossip only hurts more. So, you know, maybe people are gossiping about the situation or they're afraid that somebody will gossip about the situation. It's like almost like they don't want somebody to find out about you guys. Okay. So I'm going to leave it at that. Um, if you want to get further clarification, check out the obstacles, um, get the most likely outcome and advice. You can check that out in the description. If you would like a personal reading, you can check it out at sharakennedytarot.com. And I will talk to you guys later. I love you so much. Bye.